Hello guys, welcome once again to another video. In this video, we will see updates on the testing of Booster 7, SpaceX's new boss at Starbase, NASA's update on the SLS rocket, and the first look at Rocket Lab's new Archimedes engine. We saw positive signs for an upcoming static fire of Booster 7 soon at Starbase. Yesterday, SpaceX performed a spin prime test of possibly all 13 inner center engines. This is a positive sign that a static fire is imminent. Even though we didn't see any test involving fire, a few other tests were conducted. Prior to spin prime test, we saw that the fire suppression system also known as Fire X was activated. The grid fins on Booster 7 were also tested just before the spin prime test. These grid fins will help the booster steer its way back to the tower. The ship quick disconnect arm was also tested simulating a lift-off-like condition. The first orbital flight of Starship in December is really looking promising awaiting static fire test results. NASA has already said, the FAA launch license application is in process. Reports suggest there is a reorganization of leadership at Starbase. SpaceX's president and chief operating officer, the woman who runs SpaceX behind the scene is now in charge of the Starship program at Starbase. This could well be a decision that came after Elon Musk shifts his focus to managing and fixing Twitter. I have no doubt that SpaceX could well progress without Elon Musk in charge of all things. I mean that is why he recruited super talented engineers at SpaceX. What do you guys think of this move? Will this decision slow down Starship's progress or do you guys trust Gwyn Shotwell's leadership? NASA's Jim Free has given an update on the SLS rocket. As Hurricane Nicole has already passed through the east coast of Florida and moved across the state, he said the launch operations at Kennedy Space Center will resume soon. According to the update given, peak wind gusts up to 71 knots at 60 feet level pass through pad 39B where the SLS rocket stands. You can stop the video and read the whole statement. Okay, let's continue the video. Here is the first look at Rocket Lab's new Archimedes engine. Peter Beck, the CEO of the company shared this image on Twitter. The upcoming reusable rocket, Neutron will feature this new engine. Unlike the existing Rutherford engine, used on Electron rocket, Archimedes will use liquid methane as fuel and liquid oxygen as the oxidizer. Neutron will have seven of these engines producing a total of 1.3 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. As of today, Rocket Lab seems to be the only private rocket company that is putting up close competition to SpaceX in launch services. And we all know, competition is a good thing in space. Well, that is it for now. I will meet you in the next video. Thank you for watching.